are just entering the woods now. And before we start hiking, there's a few rules that we all need to agree to. And so I would like to make with you a Brit Kavutsa. So a promise to our group of how we're going to behave and act towards one another. So can you please stay with us for just, for just this amount of time? Thank you. Love you. So what are some agreements to make our Kavutsa one that is safe, filled with kindness and respect. Great, I love that. Yeah, keep your hands to yourself. Okay, what else? Listen to each other, beautiful. Do you have any other ideas? How about trail safety? What were you just doing? Yeah, going ahead. So we always want to make sure that we stay together. Beautiful. Cool shelter. This is really impressive. How did you build it? Yeah, I saw that there were a few sticks that were too big for just one of you to carry, so you did it together. That's really impressive. You know, I think that the shelter really helped you to earn your, your white bead, your togetherness bead. Congratulations, Luna Kochav. You have earned you're together in a speed. What are the four ingredients that we need to make a fire? Yeah, we need fuel. So in this case, we'll use wood. Yep, we need a spark. And what else? Oxygen, right. We need oxygen. So we will start off with the smallest little fibers. And we call that a tinder bundle. So I like to use, please don't take that. We'll have snack in a little bit, okay? Once we get the fire going, we can actually uh, roast our sandwiches. That will be so fun. Okay, so we are going to start off with the thinnest little wispies that we have. All right, so we're going to make a pile of these. I'm going to lean them up against here and then we'll leave a little bit of space for our tinder bundle. So let's get more wispies. Do you know what kind of tree this came from? Yeah, a birch tree, specifically a white birch. And birches have horizontal lines and these little openings called lenticels. Yeah, and white birch is really special because its bark is filled with a lot of oil and that oil is highly flammable. So even when it's wet, so yeah, you can feel that the wood inside is very wet, but we're gonna take this bark and use that to start our fire. So can you start peeling that off? Thank you, Luna. And then we have this, so we'll start with this. Yeah, can you peel that too? Thank you. I brought, I brought some, um, some hay mix for everybody. So here you go, for you, not the bag. <laughs> right there, beautiful. So now we have our nest, and our nest is dried ferns and dryer lint, because both of these things are very, very dry and very, very light, okay? And that will be where we put our spark so we can put it right into the fire. Let's try. So this is a magnesium stick and this is steel. And as you do it, I can't, I can't light it when you're in my face like that, honey. So we're here on the Overlook looking over the Housatonic River Valley and let's just take a few moments to be quiet and listen. So in your Mach Barrett, we can open up to the Shema sound map and draw a picture of you in the center and then just close your eyes and we'll take two minutes just to listen and draw all of the things that you hear around you. 
Okay, so let's, let's take a moment. All right, kids, welcome to the topsy-turvy bus. What do you notice about this bus? Yeah, there's cushions instead of seats. Do you know people used to live on this bus for two months in the summer? There were four people living here. This bus runs on vegetable oil and vegetable oil is made from this. What is this? Corn, yeah, y'all love corn, favorite snack. So in order to get this into an oil state, what do you have to do? You have to press it really, really, really hard. Do you wanna try? Here, press it really, really hard. Yeah, you can try with your teeth. Okay, but I don't see any oil. So how do we get from this to this? You have to put it into an oil press. And then what do you do with oil? Some of your favorite food, like french fries or falafel. So after you use the oil, it turns into this, right? But if you put this into our engine, what would happen? <laughs> yeah, it would get really gunked up. All right, my friends, we're not gonna have snack yet, okay? So we want to put something more like this into our engine. And to get from this to this, you have to put it through a centrifuge. Can you say centrifuge? Yeah, a centrifuge. Don't just eat things off the floor, please. A centrifuge is something that spins really, really fast in a circle and pushes all of the liquid out. And then we're left with this oily gunk. Do you wanna smell it? Yeah, right? But you know who loves this stuff? Goats, they like it, and worms. So we kept worms on our bus to compost. We're gonna read The Lorax by Dr. Seuss. At the far end of town where the grickle grass grows and the wind smells slow and sour when it blows and no birds ever sing excepting old crows is the street of the lifted Lorax. You're glumping the pond where the humming fish hummed. No more can they hum, for their gills are all gummed. So I'm sending them off, oh, their future is dreary. They'll walk on their fins and get woefully weary in search of some water that isn't so smeary. But now, says the onceler, now that you're here, the word of the Lorax seems perfectly clear. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot nothing is going to get better. It's not. In order to earn our blue bead, that's our last bead that you can earn at Teva, we are going to fill out a Brit Adama, and that is a covenant with the earth. And so think about something that you can do for six weeks that is measurable, and it's something new that you haven't done before, you don't currently do. And think about something that you could do for six weeks that has a positive impact on this planet that will help you become Shomre Adama. So tell me, what, what do you want your Breet to say? Bless you, a Breet. In order to fill my commit with God and the earth, I will. Do you already recycle? Okay, so you don't even use plastic bottles and you don't really use recyclables. So that's not really something that you can do to make the world a better place. You're already doing a great job. Okay, do you compost? That's a good one. You have a composting toilet at home? That's pretty impressive. So again, that's not something new. You're already doing it. 
Yeah, youth activism is huge right now. You could totally become a youth activist. You're getting so excited about it. This is such a good idea. Okay, so youth activism, what, what can you do each week for six weeks? Yeah, you can call your senators weekly. That's a great idea. Okay, so yeah, call senators about an, about an environmental issue that you care about. Beautiful, okay. You all get your blue bead. Congratulations. Okay, let's have some snack and we are going to receive all of our beads because you've done so well. Um, what is the bracha that you say over trail mix? Yeah, shahakol. So, shahakol ye bidvaro. Amen. I am so proud of you both. This has been such an incredible um, first week of Spring Teva. PHA, um, I'm so impressed by all the knowledge that you brought, your enthusiasm, and the way that you really work together, and we had such a good week. So you have each earned all of your beads. We have our red bead that we earned on our first day. That stands for what? Awareness. We earned the togetherness bead when you built the, your shelter together. Ecology, we did so much amazing learning about the study of homes and all of the animals and all the plants that call this place home. And your blue bead, I'm so impressed that you want to be advocates for for a better, for a more sustainable and a healthier world for everybody. So congratulations, you have become Shomre Adama, guardians of the earth. And hold this with you. I really hope that you can all earn your earth bead and, and continue the learning.